What's up, everybody? Nick here for some uh, pretty intense 2v2 rail gameplay. And uh, pre-game, before this game started, uh, Kevin and I, who is my doubles partner in this match, uh, we decided we're going to do a 1-1 one -one split because we were hoping that um, normally when we play, the, like the opposing team sends either two people for sniper or two people for overshield. But problem was they sent one for overshield and one for sniper, and we both lost our battle. So they have overshield and sniper. And we are down to two kills. So Kevin dies right here. I'm going to play really passive. I'm just going to chuck nades, keep him away, give me some time for Kevin to respawn. And here he is. He's getting clocked in the body by a sniper. I'm um, using him as bait, trying to see if they're going to challenge. But they are playing really passive. Um, I'm just going to see where he went. Looking, jumping up, try to get an angle on him. Kevin gets a kill here, which makes it 2 1. I get clocked in the body. And that guy goes huge and hits Kevin in the body and then whips out his DMR and cleans him up. So we it's it's 40 to 10. And uh right here I get clocked with an A. I'm gonna try to do a, a just try to do a I don't know what the word is. An unusual route to safety. And you'll see right here with the overhead cam. I got a flank because I heard Kevin's getting shot at. You'll see me catch one of them off guard and then I have to win my battle. But it wasn't really a battle because uh, he missed his first snipe, and uh, as soon as he missed his first snipe, I knew I was going to five shot him. But what you didn't see was he actually played the sniper, which is a huge, huge play. Um, so it, that's what pretty much keeps it close. Because even when the opposing team, I was really impressed because even when they died, they did something interesting that made it more difficult for us. So that's some good Halo play. Um, we missed time, the overshield, and they got it. So I'm waiting. I'm just waiting here to see if he doubled back, but he didn't. But he went through the portal, looking the wrong way. I get some shots on him. And Kevin's going to go see if he can get some shots on him. He ran past me, but I was watching his flank. Like, the whole thing about rail is you really need to, like, if you notice you're putting shots on one person for a long time, you need to, like, think about that other teammate there. Because <laughs> on rail, it's so easy to get caught up on one guy that somebody flanks you and gets those shots, which you saw earlier when I got that double kill. They're so focused on Kevin top mid that I was able to flank him and get that double kill. So right here, I hear shots. I'm sprinting. Kevin's hiding in a weird spot. Um, I'm hearing that lift, but I think it's just because the gun is up there. It's really being annoying. Toss a nade down there. I don't want to get too caught up, like I said, on him, so I'm going to help. I'm going to put a shot. I'm going to remind myself that there was a guy down there. I was fortunate enough to look in time, and I get a really nice double kill. Got to do an ogre twitch. For every rotation of the ogre twitch, your ego rises one unit, if you didn't know. It's a cool fact. I normally don't drop there. I really don't like dropping there unless overshield's up. Uh, but I'm baiting the sniper. Watch, you'll see, like, I won't go right at it. And luckily, I was able to see this guy win my battle there. Um, so, but right here was actually, by me missing that jump, uh, like, it's a five second respawn time so I missed that jump and he is a teammate on the other team spawn and was able to clean me up so by me messing up that jump I did not stay alive with the sniper and now they got overshield again so now they are they got top purple control and we we're spawning top gold uh, Kevin gets a little eager gets destroyed <laughs> uh, he's really prone to just like screaming YOLO and then just charging him Uh, right here, uh, I want to show you that um, this is really interesting. From there, you can see from this angle, like as soon as they kill me, they know like they got that five seconds to push on. It's a two v one situation. They got a sniper and they got a guy with a DMR, so they're just gonna push Kevin, and that gives them the lead. So I just wanted to show you guys that that was a really good play out of the blue team. Of uh, just they killed me and instantly started sprinting looking for Kevin because they got five seconds to find him before I respawn and was able to put shots on him. Kevin in this weird situation was able to get a kill. Which still kept us in the game. I got a ridiculous spawn there. So that that was some shenanigans, but I'll take it. I hear Kevin getting shot at, so I'm just going to toss a nade where, you know, they can run at him. I know Overshield's coming up, so I don't want to leave here. I want to be able to just drop down on Overshield and pick it up. Because I want it for once in this match. Like, I was willing to let Kevin die just for Overshield. Um, right here, most people would just beeline for him, but I wanted him to think I was just charging him because I had overshield. So it would mess up with his, like, escape route. 
So he has no clue where I'm going because I didn't like push the common player's route of just grabbing over shield, just charging him. So I think that's why I was able to get that kill right there because he was like kind of confused because you know he's like, wait, why that guy didn't char like challenge me? Because that's weird. Like normally people with over shield just go straight for him, but um, it worked out. I got a sniper right here. You'll see me like I saw him up there and I didn't see him, so I decided to waste one snipe. I wanted to waste the second one and I was unable to. I don't know what happened to that sniper. I think. I don't know if, like, I really have no idea, actually. Uh, new sniper's up. See, he's still sprinting because he thinks, like, I'm going to sprint towards it. Um, I get to call out that he was weak, which allows me to get that double kill. But uh, you'll see, like, that guy kept sprinting because I guess he thought we were going to get in a melee battle. So I was just like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to not charge that sniper. I'm just going to let him think he's going to get it for free. And then I was able to clean up that kill. And then, as you saw, I turned around and... Kevin had that guy very, very weak, and I was able to get that double kill. Kevin's still using his YOLO strats. Um, I'm going to try to do an unusual escape route, so it can't be really predictable. I hear some gunshots going on, so I'm going to be looking for the action. Uh, I know that they're both together now, because I saw it. I'm going to keep that in mind. So now I got like, uh, the, I'm feeling pretty cocky. I get a decent snapshot. I'm, I should have hit that second one, but you can't hit them all, you know. Yeah, Kevin told me there's a guy top mid, so that's why I checked that second aid. Um, I was just hoping for it to buy me some time. Uh, I probably should just set my BR out, but I was feeling like Ninja and trying to get no scopes that I know are out of my ability. Uh, Kevin was able to get a double kill, which is really good. It's two, what was it? 250 to 210. I get a body shot. I'm going to be really aggressive on this. Watch this play. Um, I wasn't going to drop because I don't want to give up top. Um, like You don't really want to give up your top advantage, but since his teammate was shooting me, I had no choice but to drop, and he was still able to kill me. So that was another great play from the blue team. I'm going to hide in this little area to regain my shield to see Kevin looking like a little... Alright, so right here you'll see he went left and I wanted to go right. Because I wanted them, their call to be all like mixed up. So that would actually make... If they were team shotting, that would separate them. So that gives us a better chance because we both have pretty solid shots. So I felt like if I just went right and he went left, we could probably defend ourselves. Uh, I put shots on that guy you saw. We got another overshield. And it's looking good for us to finish out this game. Uh, fortunately, we went the, both the same side. Uh, for an ideal situation, we both one of us should have went to the left side of that that little structure, and I should have went to the right or like converged on him. But he was able to get away. And here is the last snipe kill of the match right there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this doubles match. I'm going to give some more throwdown gameplay. But uh, please follow me on Twitter, subscribe, and like. Hope you can see you guys next time. Peace.